guys probably noticed that I was a little firm this weekend with regard to the community. There had been not just one, there were actually a couple of posts and not just in the lab, our other communities as well. If you don't know, we have something called the circle where you can go and ask for intuitive readings or just ask for some support. We also have the light room where you can actually practice intuitive readings, give and receive intuitive readings. They're very cool. But in all of these spaces, because we're, we're getting so big, we're just not able to stay ahead of some of the behavior of the people and in particular people who are coming in that are new and i've just been feeling this sentimental sort of nostalgic energy about who we are as a community remembering as some of you do who we were when we first started back in um somebody tell me was it 2016 I think it was 2016, could have been 2015. I, I always mix that up. But when we first started, we had about 200 people. Actually, we started, we were like 40 people and then 75 people. But at our top, before we opened our doors, we were at about 200 people. And it was such a close-knit community. And the only people who were in the Lightworks Lab were those students who had actually taken one of my courses, who I'd actually guided, interacted with, and knew. And I wanted to create a safe space where we could all continue to talk about it or continue to fellowship. When we opened our doors, we, we grew pretty slowly. I mean, there's Facebook groups out there with hundreds of thousands of people. I can't even conceive of that. Hundreds of thousands of people, but we were pretty picky about who we let in. And we've been very diligent. You guys know we've been very diligent. We have a great team of moderators with making sure the posts are in alignment and the comments are in alignment. And our fundamental rule here, everything, all the rules that we share with you are all anchored in our fundamental rule, which is love, and treating one another with love, and being to the very best of our ability a representation of that which we say we believe in, and we believe in love. That's, that's who we are. We don't judge one another. You could be a Buddhist. He could be a pagan. I could be into theosophy. She could be into aliens. It doesn't matter. This space supports absolutely everybody. But nonetheless, social media being what it is in 2019, it was just getting a little people were just, they weren't checking the guidelines they didn't they didn't get the vision that i have for this community so why don't i share what that vision is with you and if it doesn't resonate with you right on that's okay not everything is meant for you and what's but what is meant for you will never miss you what my vision for the light workers lab is to have a conscious and intentional community my vision is also that we have a platform that enriches and educates and supports at all times. So there's always somebody going up each day in the lab. There's also a free library. If somebody wants to drop the link right here in the comments, it's thelightworkerslab.com slash free hyphen library. I believe there's over 80 lessons that, that are free to any member of the lab. You can learn all you want to learn about just about anything metaphysical right there in the free library. I want to provide that. We also have advanced learning, advanced teaching. We are always running programs and we try to keep those programs priced in a way that's fair, of course, to the practitioners, but is also something that you guys can actually afford. Like that's my heart. I want to enrich this community further. I truly believe that where two or more are gathered, their God is in the midst of them. That's, that's out of the Bible. Don't get all crazy. I'm not an Orthodox Christian or anything, but there are eternal truths in every sacred book, and that's one of them. Where two or more are gathered, there God is in the midst of them. And there's also another scripture that says, when two people agree on something and ask for it, their Father in heaven will do it. Period. No questions. Well, there's more than two of us here, aren't there? There's over 9,000 people in this community, and I would say the core community, the, the people who are active, is probably about 1,000, maybe even less, but it's still more than two. What if we set our intention to create something new? Neville Goddard, who we're going to be learning about tonight, he said something that I often share and I often say to myself, and that is, everything is just you pushed out. All your relationships, it's just you pushed out. Your country and everything going on with people is just you pushed out. Your marriage is just you pushed out. Your bank account, that's just you pushed out into materiality. But the origins, the genesis of all that is created and all that you will ever experience is within you. And this goes back to what Christ said when he said, the kingdom of heaven is within. 
This means the magic, the creation, the creator is within. Inside of you exists right now a doorway through which God and our emissaries and divine energy walks every single day. Inside of you exists a doorway through which you walk to the other side and experience in fullness every single day, whether you consciously know this or not. All of that exists within you, just as all of it exists within me. I am just you pushed out. I am just a mirror representing something that you're experiencing within yourself, and the same goes for you. Well, what if as a community, we lay down our need to feel superior about what we believe? We lay down our desire to get in debates, to debates and arguments, and instead point our interest at something we could grow together. In the coming months in this community, we are going to be doing something as a community called Consciousness Experiments. I don't know how many of you guys know who Art Bell is from Coast to Coast, and then he went on to do Midnight in the Desert and I think a couple of other broadcasts. I don't know, there's something about Art Bell that I just really like. I've been listening to him since the 90s. He passed away a couple of years ago. But I want to say it was in the 90s, and please correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody knows, but in the 90s, he did his own consciousness experiment with the listeners of his radio program. And what he decided to do was to have everybody agree in a dynamic way, not an inert, passive way. Yeah, I agree to that. No. Leaning in, meditating on, creating something. And what Art Bell wanted to create was a mass UFO visitation, because that's what they kind of talk about all the time on Coast to Coast, and that's what he was interested in. Shortly thereafter, after he conducted that experiment with his millions of listeners, the Phoenix Lights happened. How many of you guys know about the Phoenix Lights? How many of you guys are from Arizona? I believe it was the Phoenix Lights. Here again, correct me if I'm wrong. But there was a mass visitation. And in Phoenix, it was like that huge UFO that thousands of people saw. I think the governor ended up making fun of this UFO visitation, but then ended up retracting his statement and saying, no, yeah, I saw it. And every, a lot of people saw it. Something happened that night. And there's film of it, but there was just a mass convergence right after this consciousness experiment. It, it was so powerful to Art Bell that he promised to never do it again because he had no idea how powerful people actually were, how powerful consciousness actually is. Of course, we know that. We talk about that all the time. We are divine. And the power exists within us to create that which we want. Well, he didn't know that, but he learned real quick. Just last year, and there was a worldwide meditation, and that day the earth rang like a bell. There was something that happened in the core of the earth that resounded, and I believe it was connected to the people that meditated that day. Consciousness experiments, consciousness and intentional creation. We have the ability here in this group, as spiritual people who want better for ourselves, for our families, and for this world, we have an opportunity to create that. Isn't that what the mystics have been telling us is possible for millennia? And it is, and so it is. Again, in the months to come, I'm going to be planning a series of consciousness experiments, and we're going to do these together. And we're going to document these, and we're going to see what happens. And it may be we try to call down more dreams and more visions. Maybe we try to create in our own lives intuitive abilities. Maybe it's actually a shift in global consciousness. Maybe it's a healing that's needed by this planet and we're the ones to send it. How many of you guys want to do that with me? I don't care anymore about being a size two. I don't care about having millions of dollars in my bank account. I don't care about what I drive or where I live. You know what I care about is doing something good for this planet and doing something good for people and leaving a legacy of love. That's, that's what I care about. And for those of you who can get behind that, this is the group for you. I am the founder of this space. I am proud of this space. I am proud of each and every one of you and I am excited about what's to come. I've been getting my physical body back into alignment. Trust it and believe it. And as a result, I've been getting so many downloads of late. That's why I'm excited about bliss, guys, because I don't even know. Will I be levitating? I might be levitating. You might be levitating. The energy that's coming in four months ago, three months ago, I would not have been able to hold. 
I would not have been able to do it, which is why it was so critical that I do what I'm doing right now. And I've been getting these promptings from Spirit about where we're going and what we're going to do. I can't share them with you right now because, of course, the number one principle of manifestation is don't speak about it until it's created because everybody else is going to have an opinion about it and that changes the energy of what you're creating. But when when we've got some footing, I'll tell you a bit more. I love you guys. I want us to be the best community on the Internet for spiritual seekers. That may mean we get off Facebook at some point. Maybe we have our own forum. Maybe we have our own gig, our own thing. Whatever it is, God will provide. Can I get an amen? And amen. Join me this year at the 2019 Bliss Retreat in beautiful Loveland, Colorado. The Bliss Retreat is a four-night, five-day, blissed-out extravaganza where there will be sacred ceremonies, spiritual workshops, and nightly services with me, Crystal Ann Compton. Go to theblissretreat.org to learn more. I hope to see you there.